women uh, participating in the environmental uh, challenge cleanup sustainability part of the sustainability challenge one of the things that we are looking at is agroecology we have uh, this uh, the project on um, urban food systems mm -hmm. And at least I can see I was I was telling my team we have seen here they have the focus. But I think Steve, you can talk more about it because we are looking at creating a farmer group. So that would also address uh, some of the challenges in terms of the resource, you know, because once you're able to plant uh, food for yourselves, there's also food that you can also sell and all. And so that is also something uh, that we are looking at. But Steve, you can talk more about it. Yeah, yeah. So when it comes to agroecology, we are looking at working with many groups. So we will come to this community and form a mini group of six. The idea around a mini group of six is that so that we utilize a small number. Because when it comes to urban farming, uh, you need you need joint labor. Uh, if you're to establish a kitchen garden or, or if you're to establish a spring garden, Spring garden is when you put, when you recycle materials, put soil, honey in your compound. So we will train, um, we will work with uh, seed farmers, which we partnered with them to seed savers, seed savers, seed savers um, network. to train the TOTs. So the idea around working with seed savers is that we will work with organic or indigenous food varieties as opposed to the hybrid because also we are conscious of food sovereignty as a sustainability mechanism. And in nutrition. And nutrition. So that's, that's uh, about the agroecology. So we will, we will do then hope to, even, even here, maybe one thing we can do is just work with those groups and set hanging gardens here for learning. For learning, yes. So that, and then there's also the advocacy aspect of it because we also have a project under the Voices for Climate Action uh, where we're working with the Nairobi County national level, but also with the Nairobi County, in fact, with uh, Waidira, who has a bill already. Is it an act now? Um, on Yes, on, on uh, environment, the environment in Nairobi. Uh, so part of it is that, is... is that funded by Canada or is that another project? No, that is another project. It's funded by Akinamama Wa Africa. Yes, um, uh, so that is really about raising awareness and holding the government to its commitments. So you see like some of the commitments that government has made in terms of reclaiming the river, ensuring that government follows through on its commitments and getting the communities to hold government accountable. But also accountability as citizens, as uh, community members, in terms of our responsibility towards the environment. So that we are doing through what we call reflect action circles, which are learning groups to be able to, first of all, uh, teach and train people about the importance of your environment and the environmental sustainability, but also do advocacy around spaces, because that is something that uh, it seems, our, we, you know, in terms of urban planning, we're not doing very well. And in fact, I think it's a credit that we have this kind of space within this concrete jungle. And so when you look at uh, some of the commitments that government is making, when they are building all these houses and everything, where are the green spaces? So we want to be, to be able to have advocacy around that and to get citizens to push that even within these plans, that uh, the, the green spaces are maintained and <coughs> citizens are able to design them. I like the way um, the secretary has talked about, you know, having the mental health corner and, you know, the, looking at the different aspects that the, the community is, is uh, facing and then designing those spaces to be able to address those challenges in a creative way. So that is something that we would want to not only encourage, um, but also use as an advocacy tool to be able to ensure that government focuses on those um, aspects of it. So that, uh, that is, uh, that's one of the things we're looking at. We'll be doing it not just here in, in Kamkunji, but also in Hawad and uh, other Kibra and uh, Dagoreti. So within Nairobi County, that is part of the project. And then, of course, uh, for this event, uh, Jospat already said, you know, he told us about some of the equipment that they needed. So we have also brought some of that equipment. We hope that you'll be able to hold on to it. And <laughs> people, are not going to, people are not going to run off with of it. Uh, so we've been able to do that. And so we look forward to really being able to work with them and hopefully be able to leverage 
um, some of these activities to gain other partnerships for them and for the work that they're doing.